no child or no person in our audience should not see themselves represented on stage. We should be a mirror of what our community is. We can't call ourselves an arts organization for the community and for a city if we only portray one type of person. In the ballet world, classical ballet world, most artistic directors felt like there needed to be that one specific color, that one specific type of person. Arthur Mitchell wanted to make a place for, um, for, for black dancers that wanted to do classical ballet. Martin Luther King had just been assassinated. And there was a calling in Mr. Mitchell, and out came Dance Theatre of Harlem. Dance Theatre of Harlem has always been a major ballet company in the world of dance. So for me, as a kid, there has always been black ballerinas for me. When people say it's the first, or it's the first ballerina in a white company, yeah, then what does that really mean? We've always deserved to be in the room. That was never a question. For me, it's not a big deal that somebody gets into ABT or in New York City Ballet or any other white organization, you know, as a black person, um, you know, because I've been seeing it since I was a kid. So I've seen the excellence of it. They're just now getting to it. My name is Avery Joseph Walker. I am originally from Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Elise Renee Porter. I was born in Norfolk, Virginia, but I was raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I moved out here about 10 years ago. My name is Eric Vidania, and I am from Las Vegas, Nevada. And the thing I love most about being a dancer is the ability to speak my truth through my movement. The thing I love most about dance is versatility, and it really teaches you to adjust where you are and how you are and how you hold yourself in different settings and environments. There have been times where I don't fit in with the rest of the dancers in terms of my skin color because I'm on that spectrum of not a super tan Latino, but also I'm not very pale. I, I've gone through like the insecurities. Like I used to tell my mom in high school, like, mom, I need to lose weight. Like, Maybe I shouldn't go out in the sun. Maybe I do need to be lighter, like to fit a certain part, to get a specific role. My skin color shouldn't define who I am. My dancing, my, my abilities and my skills and what I have should be able to determine whether or not I can be within your company, within your school, within your piece. In high school, I felt like I really, I just, with my skin tone, I was always the only one. Even in academics classes, like I was the only, I was the only African American person. The restager of the work seemed to have a problem with me dancing the role because of the color of my skin. I'm pouring my heart out really and trying to marry to the work and it just didn't seem to be good enough. And she gave me notes and she said, everything you do is wrong, it's just wrong. It's just something about you, it's just wrong. And it brought me to tears because I thought that truly there was something wrong with me. My name is Bernard H. Gaddis. I'm the founder and artistic director for Contemporary West Dance Theater, formerly known as the Las Vegas Contemporary Dance Theater. And I started the company in 2007. 
with Charmaine Hunter. For me, I don't focus on the color of your skin in my company. I focus on if you can do the work. If you can do the work, then it's undeniable. You ca I can't sit up there and say you can't do it. As a businessman, that would be stupid of me. I think people warp the meaning of tradition. Every culture has a tradition in how they operate. Tradition for me means uh, the discipline of it. Tradition has nothing to do with the type of body or person that can do the movement. I think that's a cop-out when people sort of take that word and manipulate that word into something else. Tradition means that you show up early and you warm up before class. Tradition means you come in the proper attire for class. Tradition means that you have the same drive that somebody else has had in the past and that you understand that there's a way of working as opposed to a way of looking. When I lead with the word tradition and legacy and all of those types of words, for me it comes from being steeped in the discipline of dance and being able to transcend dance in the art form from the studio to the stage. That is tradition. Well, my involvement with the organization, you know, has been kind of over half of my lifetime. As far as Avery's concerned, I've had Avery since he's been 15 years old. I started as just a, you know, spectator and member of the audience, and now, you know, I'm the artistic director for the Arts Work Program. He believes in the mission and overall vision of the organization. With Contemporary West, I feel like there's no set model form that you need to portray or to be in. You really have to just learn to adapt and learn how to, like, own who you are, but also confidently and showing your excellence in the company. It causes us to really be a family and that's what I really enjoy about the Arts Work Program. We look up to Rad and he's the, he's like our father figure of the group. We like to, to push each other. He jumps really, really high, so I'm gonna jump really, really high. My friends Chase and, and Z are gonna jump really, really high. Well, dance at Contemporary West Dance Theater and arts work is really about the human experience. We are really of the mind and aesthetic that dance is for everybody and dance is for the people, you know? We don't just have one perspective. It's many perspectives. My advice would be don't compare yourself. Yeah, I would definitely give the advice of that it's okay to be who you are. Be confident in yourself. Your skin tone is just another strength. It's not, it's not a weakness. We're not your traditional dancers in terms of how we move. A lot of us like the exploratory movement, the improv, the ooey gooey, the wiggly. The world is changing and so should the movement, so should the dancers, so should the colors of the dancers. My thing is if I equip them with all of the tools that they need as far as technique and the, the love and the nurturing and the mentorship within the arts, then they have everything that they need to succeed. And they don't have to walk into the room and lead with, I'm black, or lead with a color. You lead with your talent and your artistry and your love of the art form. And when you do that, it's undeniable to people.